Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to find out how rich is Nicolas Cage in 2022. Let's get right into it. Nicolas Cage is noted for his distinct acting style, great performances, and spending more money in Hollywood than anyone else. Cage was one of the world's top leading men in the 1990s and 2000s. He starred in a slew of legendary action films that broke box office records. Cage's career, on the other hand, has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. Nicolas Cage was born Nicolas Coppola, a member of the famed Coppola family. Cage is related to Francis Ford Coppola, the acclaimed director and actress Talia Shire. Cage, on the other hand, changed his name to show that he could succeed without his family's well-known surname. Cage did not disappoint, and he was a huge hit right away. With his in-character fast times at Richmond High, he got people talking. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Cage starred in a number of famous films including Rumblefish, Raising Arizona and Moonstruck. He was on the verge of a breakthrough in his profession. In 1995, Nicolas Cage experienced a huge career breakthrough. After starring in the highly acclaimed film Leaving Las Vegas, Cage became a household celebrity. His outstanding performance gained him great acclaim. He even received an Academy Award for his performance in the film. Cage's life was transformed and he became a major celebrity. Cage, of course, did it without using his well-known last name. His career was transformed once he won the Oscar and expensive offers began to pour in. Nicolas Cage rose to the top of Hollywood in the 1990s. He swiftly rose to become one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. Cage was paid $16 million for his performance in Brian De Palma's film Snake Eyes in 1998. Cage had numerous more breakthroughs in the 2000s and he became an even bigger star. For example, his parts in Gone in 60 Seconds, Wind Talkers, and National Treasure each netted him $20 million. Cage looked to be incapable of making a mistake. Everything was about to change. At one time, Nicolas Cage was one of the highest earning actors in Hollywood. He eventually accumulated a net worth of $150 million. Cage's performance as Charlie Kaufman in the famous film adaptation earned him a lot of accolades. He also starred in several box office hits including Face Off, Con Air and The Rock. Cage rose to become one of the most famous people on the planet. There was no one who didn't recognize him. However, Cage didn't realize that it's easy to go through $150 million quickly. Nicolas Cage has starred in several memorable films that fans still love to this day. He had a great deal of success at the box office. Of course, Cage countered this with a series of unpopular films. Cage starred in a number of films that were critically panned and failed at the box office. The picture Wicker Man, for example, was unable to recoup its $40 million deficit. Cage's run of good fortune came to an end. He would have some success now and then, but not enough to cover his expenses. Nicolas Cage became famous all over the world, but it wasn't enough. He has a reputation for blowing his money like there's no tomorrow. He proceeded on multiple shopping sprees, accumulating a large list of extravagant purchases. Cage once possessed around 17 mansions and a $7 million private island in the Bahamas. He eventually bought two castles to add to his house collection. In addition, he purchased a $30 million private plane, a collection of exotic automobiles, and four luxury vessels. Of course, he needed to make a few more risky purchases. Nicolas Cage's buying sprees grew in popularity over time. He made two of his most notable purchases in 2007. Cage is famous for outbidding Leonardo DiCaprio at an auction to buy a 70 million year old dinosaur skull for $270,000. The skull, however, was stolen from the Mongolian government by the seller. Cage also bought the La Laurie Mansion in New Orleans, French Quarter. Of course, Cage maintains that the home is America's most haunted house. Cage also bought an octopus, two king cobras, a crocodile, and a shark, among other unusual creatures. Nicolas Cage's spending habits ultimately caught up with him in 2009. The IRS placed a tax lien on many houses he bought, alleging that he owed over $6.2 million in back taxes. Cage then filed a $20 million lawsuit against his business manager, blaming him for everything that had happened. Of course, his business manager remarked on Cage's extravagant spending. To pay off his debt, Cage had to sell multiple residences and possessions. There was a time when Nicolas Cage earned $40 million in one year. His estimated net worth was $150 million as previously stated. His net worth, however, was quickly depleted due to his spending habits and tax issues. Cage has tried to resurrect his career and fortune. Cage is a great comic book fan, which is no surprise. He even adopted the fictional last name of Luke Cage from the comic book character. 
He was also considered for the role of Superman in the upcoming film Superman Lives. He has an impressive comic book collection that included Superman Action Comics number 1 from 1938. In 2011, Cage sold the famous comic book for $2.6 million to help pay his debts and tax problems. Nicolas Cage now has a net worth of $25 million. He's no longer one of the top leading men in Hollywood. Of course, Cage is a legend in his own right and continues to find success. He starred in several popular movies, including Dog Eat Dog, Mandy and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.